Hi folks, Van Prepper here. I am with uh, Joe Palumbo, the owner and operator of uh, the Albion Gun Shop, the gun shop that was uh, had their records seized by state police. Uh, was it last week? Uh, week and a half ago. Week and a half ago. And uh, Joe has been doing a lot of interviews lately and uh, been a very busy man, so we really appreciate him taking the time to, to speak with us here. Joe, I met him at the... Uh, gun buy back in Binghamton, New York, and uh, Joe is a patriot. He goes around and, and uh, participates in the gun buy back so that there's an FFL, deers, FFL dealer there so that uh, we can rescue some of these guns uh, and give people a fair price. Joe, uh, tell me a little bit about, in your own words about you know how this happened and, and what is your opinion on this, really? Well, about a week and a half ago, a uh, state police undercover guy with the narcotics division came into the store. Uh, introduced himself, explained who he was. Uh, I had remembered him. He was a customer of mine. Uh, he went through and explained. They were under orders to come in, get all my records of all modified AR-15s. They had deemed that the bullet button and MR2 modifications were now illegal in New York. Prior to that, we had spoken to New York State Gun Hotline, numerous law enforcement agents, including uh, county sheriffs, other state police officers in two different barracks, uh, county district attorneys, uh, you name the department, we've spoken to them. They had all been saying, yes, it was completely compliant. He gave us 24 hours or they were going to resort to Plan A, which was SWAT team, uh, guns blazing, that kind of a deal. And after talking to the local, or uh, uh, my personal family attorney, she had advised us hand them over to try to buy me some time to hire uh, Jim Tresman law, uh, law firm. They specialize in Second Amendment law. Okay, and uh, what is your kind of, do you have any idea why, uh, you know, what the purpose was? I understand the, the case that they're citing as the, the reason that they came, mm -hmm. but why not just ask for that one person's record? Why come in and, and ask for all your customer records? We are under the assumption that it was a domestic violence thing that kind of started this. We don't actually know for sure what it was. I've heard a lot of rumors as far as it could have been uh, one cop trying to make a name for himself. It could have been this domestic violence. Uh, I had also heard that it may have been another gun shop or a concerned citizen uh, turning me into the state police. But prior to that, we were told they were legal. Yeah, and I have had, I've had a similar experience where I, I have called the Safe Act hotline and I have never gotten a yes or no answer. I've gotten a probably mm -hmm. uh, should be. I've never gotten them to just say yes, that is, or no, that is not legal, which makes it impossible for you as a businessman in this state, for me as a citizen, to even if we want to comply with the law, to comply with it when the people charged with enforcing it either cannot or will not. Uh, give us a yes or no answer on whether what we're doing is legal or Ill illegal. And if it's left up to, um, you know, an individual officer's discretion, then you may be told by 10 officers it's okay, and then one decides it's not, and then here you are, you know. We, we're not really sure if this is the case here. We don't have any documentation proving that this was even an authorized seizure. Uh, we have been told that it could have been a rogue police officer trying to make a name for himself, trying to get a promotion. Uh, it's kind of a stupid move on Cuomo's office to do this right before an election. I agree. Uh, and Joe, um, what would you say to other gun shop owners around the state if, if you know, if, what would be your advice if this kind of comes, becomes something a little more common in the state? If it becomes more common, I would definitely recommend having an attorney on retainer, have something ready to go when they do show up, because I get the feeling I'm just the first. Uh, we were not the only ones in the state using the bullet button modification. There's a shop a couple miles up the road from us that was using it. The MR2 apparently they're going after. There was a third conversion I've never heard of that was more central New York, eastern New York, that was very common out there, so I'm just the first. And Joe, now you mentioned one thing, and I just wanted you to explain that to me. You said this was a, a narcotics officer of the state police. Why would a narcotics officer be the one coming in here? From what we were told, the narcotics division is the division tasked with enforcing the SAFE Act uh, because they're already ready to go to handle violent felons. They have all the armored vehicles, their own division of SWAT. Uh, that's why they've been tasked with.